nasabi na kasi kanina ng marami sa atin dito na I think they made the position that uh, we have enough existing laws to uh, address whatever uh, Pakilapit yung mic para the... marinig natin mas ma mal malinaw Nasabi na kanina ng halos karamihan ata dito nagsabi na uh, their, the, their stand is that we have existing we have enough existing laws to protect the public from any abuses from uh, of media uh, we in Verifiles reiterate the same position. In fighting fake news, in fact, in fighting fake news, we should be conscious of the danger that we would be coming up with measures that would undermine freedom of expression. We might come up with a cure that is worse than the disease. Fake lies are concocted to deceive the public. They confuse the public and disempower them from making informed decision. And the worrisome part of this is that most of the sources of, in, of this information is being perpetrated by, the, by government officials on taxpayers' money. And, um, and the number one source of fake news as, because um, is the President Duterte himself. Um, Verifies as a fact check project we tracked um, falsehood um, being uh, be, falsehood being um, spewed out by public personalities, and I tell you, President Duterte keeps us busy. In just one speech, sometimes he would um, um, say more than one falsehood. Uh, social media is a vehicle, and the problem about that is that most of the inaccurate data that he uh, has are basis of policies. And you know, um, the, number, the one example is the war on drugs. It's based on data which cannot be verified. Um, marami pa yon. Uh, social media is an awesome vehicle for information. It delivers messages real time. It has erased geographical borders. Its reach is limitless. In the hands of malevolent forces, it can inflict enormous harm to the people and to the country. Kaya kung may batas, the, the best antidote to fake news is truth. Ang kalaban ng, ng, ng kasinungalingan ay katotohanan. Kung kaya kung may batas man nagagawin para sa pagsugpo ng fake news, dapat ay siguro yan ay sa larangan ng edukasyon. Social Media Literacy Program. Um, part of Verifiles Fact Check Project is our campus tour in partnership with the Philippine Press Institute, helping young people to fact check and to spot fake news para hindi naman sila maloko. Diyan siguro sa social media li literacy, diyan siguro malaki ang maitulong ng Senado. Yun lang. Pero di ba ma'am, pag social media literacy, sino dapat ang mag, uh, gumawa niyan? Iba-ibang grupo, hindi, hindi dapat... Hindi, itulong lang siguro. Kasi ngayon talaga sa private, malam arami ko marami kaming grupo na sa private sector ang gumagawa ng social, me, uh, social media literacy uh, program. Eh. Like kami, uh, umiikot kami sa campus para tulungan. Lalo kayong mga high school, sa high school pa lang kasi social media sabi na yung mga, mga kabataan. Eh. So, uh, we help them uh, fact check para... Importante kasi ala, nakatotohanan ang ma-imbibe nila, eh. hindi uh, yung falsehood. Pero... Alam niyo ma'am, actually ABS-CBN nandito. Ano? Um, naalala ko dati, babalikan ko na naman yung aking story. Ano, sinasabi ko dapat yung maintindihan ng Pilipino kung anong pwedeng panoorin, anong pwedeng hindi. Eh, sa tulong ninyo, GMA7, TV5, gumawa tayo ng yung rating system. Di ba? Pina hindi natin ginawa lang, pre-nomote natin. Di ba? Yun yung ginawa. Baka pwede din sa mga balita, maging mapanuri, ito yung ano, oh. kumuha, mag-check kayo ng hindi lamang dun sa mga kaibigan ninyo ng mga pinopost, kundi dun sa iba. I mean, something like that. But, but of course, uh, this will entail also a partnership with the private sector. And ano, I think Senator Nancy will, will add something. Siguro, Madam Chair, I remember during the budget hearing, di ba Secretary Andanar, you mentioned something that parang meron kayong um, program to educate. Baka pwede naman magtulong-tulungan kayo. Diba? Alam mo, pwede ko yan sangutin. Mahirap, mahirap kasi makipagtulungan sa... I'll give you one example. 
minsan yung yung par- mahirap kasi makipag-cooperate sa group sa pamahala kasi hindi ko alam kung pareho kami ng definition ng truth. Um, kasi I'll give you one example. Um, yung isang pack-check project namin involved uh, schools within students from Metro Manila schools pero ang venue ginawa sa Philippine Information Agency. Venue lang yun sa kanila. Uh, pagdating nyo, siyempre piniprepare na namin yung presentation namin. Napansin nila, marami sa examples namin, yung mga falsehood na binabato ni, binabato ni Presidente sa Madla. And they asked us to tone down the presentation. Ano yun? So, hindi, hindi, hindi na kami nag-present. Oh, hindi na kami nag-present. So, hindi ko alam kung yung katotohanan na sinasabi nila, na gusto nila ipaalam sa lahat, ay pareho kami ng definition. So, yun ang medyo worry ako pag sinabi mong work with the government. Madam Chair, can I respond to Ma'am Ellen? Yes, and then I would finally like to go to Ms. Lauria before we we uh, well suspend. I, I, I do respect okay, Ma'am bye. Ellen as a journalist, pero pag sinabi niya pong uh, si Presidente po yung source ng falsehood na generalized masyado yung inyong sinasabi ay uh, hindi naman din ako papayag na na ganun-ganun lang at na ma-broadcast sa lahat ng television, social media. So, I would like to invite uh, Ma'am Ellen to visit my office and to join us to ilagay po mga dokumento sa harapan ko and I will answer them one by one para para po mas uh, mas malino po at hindi tayo nag-generalize na falsehood si Presidente. At number two po, uh, meron po kaming uh, programa, yung uh, PCONet. Ito po yung Provincial Communication Officers Network. And we've been going around the, the country. And uh, you're free to join us. There's only one way to find out. Uh, just uh, join us. And uh, not necessarily believe in what we do, but uh, join the caravan. And we can have opposing opinion, opinions, but that's our job. Number three, siguro naman ay... Uh, Ito'y malino po sa mga kababayan natin na itong administrasyon lamang na ito ang nakapagpirma, nakapagpasa ng isang freedom of information under an executive order. At alam kong pinaglalaban din po ito ni Senator Grace Poe dito po sa Senado. Salamat po. Secretary Andanar, unang-una, um, talagang uh, tama lang that you called uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. De Silias on her allegation um, and offered her to clarify it with you. Um, I feel that Mr. De Silias wouldn't say it without any basis, but I think it's important that you clarify those uh, doubts uh, or truths. And then yes, uh, number two, uh, you were a former uh, member also of uh, the media, so you know uh, you have, I'm sure you're, you have sympathy for them. Um, if it's really inclusive, if you can include them in your government uh, tours when you go around, I think it's important to have accountability. And, and you know that if you get a fellow media practitioner in the group, then you will be more uh, transparent, you'll be more accountable. Number three, yes, I acknowledge and I thank the President for signing an executive order on the freedom of information. Sadly, it is something that has no teeth because there's really no penalty. In fact, the truth is, uh, now, when you go to a government agency, even us, our own personal experience in the Senate, we ask for certain data, we're given the runaround because it's not very clear what the penalty or what the accountable uh, individual will be in the office if they don't give it. Sir, sa totoo lang, it doesn't really work. It doesn't work in many cases. When you ask for information, it's still withheld. Um, just here in the Senate, I mean, even the Senate and the House, you ask for the salad, it's not an open um, uh, document that can be accessed uh, necessarily but by our countrymen. So we'll work together to make it uh, more uh, effective. Yes, ma'am. Because it, this is not something that the President can, um, uh, uh, what do you call this, monitor on a day-to-day -day basis. It is. It falls under your... Uh, I guess your department to be able to to follow through. So let's check it and then maybe to add more teeth, we should have penalties for those who don't uh, comply. Because you have five days within five working days uh, and then at the most you can appeal to the next uh, 
uh, head of, of, of that agency, etc. It's not being followed. And I know that for a fact. So thank you for raising it. But I think I would like now to go to... Um, Ah, uh, yung ano naman documented naman lahat-lahat ng falsehood na sinasabi ni Presidente mula pa nung day one ng kanyang presidency. You can go to our site, nandun lahat yung fact check. Documented yung kanyang exact quote as against the the accurate accurate information na dapat. Sige, ma, mag-meeting na lang kayo tapos ibigay mo rin sa akin para alam rin namin. 